Yes, this is the UK Tech Guy. It's been a while. Been doing a lot. Very busy. Um, so, this is like my third Vesk scooter. So I just thought I'd do a little tour. This one is the Innokim Ox. Uh, so we'll start from the bottom here. So I put a front fender here using a, a piece of metal and what used to be a back fender and the measurements work right I've extended it with kind of a rubber guard with some fancy nuts bolts um, uh, here so with the vest the vest that's in here is the flip sky 75 100 aluminium edition the one with way better heat performance but it then I decided not to go with the start um, kind of kind of plug or start button um, it did um, add, add on because I had it in the previous vest and it just died out on me so I went with a mechanical start so pulling it out or in will start the the tool will basically start the, the scooter and here I put some grip tape um, just so you get some grip as everybody knows when it gets wet it's not quite slippery but this one's got grip tape on there and I also upgraded the charging port so it can actually be screwed sealed and it's an old added a horn and uh, listen yeah had it on on here drilling small two small secure holes there um, got to the back I've extended the back fender so to make sure no mud actually goes on the rider and I've upgraded it to the kind of the modern fender where it doesn't rattle essentially and as you can see on the side I've got four spotlights there's two underneath there and those act as signals so as you can see I couldn't do it on a straight line I showed the other side but I couldn't do it straight line like I did on the other side because of the um, the stand basically and gives you signal stop let's go to the other side you'll see here see I've got the light so when you turn on the light currently I've turned on the light and I'll show you the full light obviously on the side you give give you that kind of mirage feeling where there's no it's kind of second handle to hold the tire um, the lights are on and this is the side indicator for the right side, pardon me, and that indicates it's much brighter when it's darker. Um, if I was to do it again, I'd probably put bigger lights, I just want to make sure they fit. And yeah, obviously, what I've done is extended the tire guard both here at the top. And at the bottom to make sure no mud whatsoever gets on the rider and the mud is restricted to underneath the deck um, here you see the lights I've added the lights you normally see in carbos and when you turn on a light you only not only get this one here left side right side but you also get the back here and there's also coming up to the top the cockpit here you have the eco turbo it's not actually eco turbo it, the top one is actually reverse yep it does have reverse it's a vesk so it's very easy and i can show that so if i was to press it there's a beep when you're reversing it would actually go back <laughs> yeah <laughs> very fast and and obviously when you unpress it we and the bottom one it's a cruise control, right? Um, so, the cruise control and the VESC, remember VESC are primarily started for the electric skateboard. So, it's much easier to maintain a um, cruise control and a VESC. You have to hold the button in, right? And it's easier to do that, obviously, if you got your control in your hand and you're on an electric skateboard. But I enabled it anyway, and it's very quirky to use. I wouldn't use it. I normally use the reverse when I'm trying to park or show off. 
um, on my other scooters. And then here, obviously, you've got your your buttons here, the ones that you normally found on the cabos. So you, here you have three types of brakes. You've got your mechanical, and then your also regenerative. The, the thing about Vescas, obviously you can tune it, but I've tuned this whereby it is almost just as strong as the mechanical brakes. Brings you to a halt, make sure you lean back obviously, and it's regenerative, So you, and you can tune how much you wanna give back to the battery. And obviously with a vest, there's no display. You can get those display, but they're mainly designed for um, electric skateboarding. But you have the app where you can tune, you can see real-time data and everything else. But yeah, this is the VESC. Um, um, the VESC Enochem OX Ox. And what I've done is I've upgraded it here so you can turn. Um, I just find it easier rather than having like the one that you can't get a good grip on. So here it is, horn, turn signals, front fender, the whole works. Um, I've been testing it for the last few days, it took me about a month and everything else if you take into account waiting for spare parts and everything else, but I loved it. Um, it's my third one and I'll continue making them. Um, I'll try and post the others, but yeah, Inokim Ox, vexed. And speed, okay, so this is the okay ox super and i find that because obviously it's an foc um and not a kind of uh, on the original one it is actually a sign not a sine wave but a square wave so it's like all or nothing is you get it the throttle is very funky you have to really play with it to find your um sweet spot but with this, it's silent as anything. It is absolutely smooth. My once you ride on a Vesk scooter, it's it's an experience. It is completely different. It, it, even when you go back to sine wave, you're like, oh, what is this? And when you go at high speeds, you think you, some scooters you get like the wobbles, right? Here it is. In all my vests, I've done um, the Wolf X. Um, I'm in the middle of doing. Um, the Cabo Mini, my daily driver, and it's smooth. Like it's even top speed doesn't wobble. Um, but this top speed on this with you can do phase filters, right? So giving it ten amps of phase, um, f sorry, ten amps of field weakening, not phase filters. Phase filters are turned off. Field weakening um on a dry surface everything good battery i can i got this up to 35 36 right straight road but you do need um around battery was around 95 percent charge at the time what you do need though is runway because i've tuned it where it's smooth in terms of um speed it will, it will get there but it does it smoothly um because I just is my is mainly a commuter, right? But you can get up to thirty five, comfortable, easy, nice and enjoyable. Thirty miles per hour, or between twenty eight and thirty. I believe the original one can get you up to twenty eight. Yeah, the motor is not that strong. I think the motor is probably eight hundred watts, maybe peak at a thousand. Um, yeah. It's not as strong. So if I had a, like maybe a very powerful motor, it could go further, even on a single motor. But I would love to do this on an OXO, and I'm if I can get 50 miles per hour on my um, Wolf X, right, Vexed, I'm sure I can get maybe 45, 46, 47 on an OXO itself as well. Yeah. So this is in a Kim Ox Vexed. I don't know if I'll keep it or not. I've got too many scooters. And as you know, if you're a scooter head, people start to, your loved ones uh, start to worry about you. Saying you've got too many scooters. But I put some mirrors in here. Um, yeah. Thank you.